Hello everyone, Dave Ward here, General Secretary of the Communication Workers Union. The future of the postal services in the UK is under threat. CW members have taken 18 day strike action so far and they've just returned another massive yes vote to continue the dispute. They're fighting to protect their jobs, but also the services they provide to you. Tomorrow, Royal Mail CEO Simon Thompson is being recalled to Parliament after allegedly misleading the House. We ask all of you to tune in and watch. In the meantime, we thought you might want to see the highlights from episode one. What's the answer, please? We'd certainly write to you and give you that Why can't you tell me now? Because some of those agreements that we have with the external organisations have an element of confidentiality, and I don't want to make mm. a mistake here and get that wrong, but we'll certainly write. And well, I'd, I'd encourage you, you're covered by parliamentary privilege, Mr Thompson, so no one can sue you. That's why you can give us honest answers. I've been told by some of your workers that they're having to run from door to door because the technology is telling them they need to be quicker. Do you have that technology in place, Mr Thompson? No, I'm not aware of technology that we have in place that uh, tells people to work more quickly. So you're you're telling the committee that your members of staff don't carry bits of technology, whatever that might be, that tracks how quickly they're doing their job? No, they do They do have a PDA, and that PDA does actually... Ah, it was a PDA, not a PVA. Ah. Do you not understand, Mr Thompson, that by giving these sorts of evasive and avoiding answers, you, you, you play fast and loose with the Chair's questions about the technology, about the acronym that was used, Shouldn't you have come in and said, no, actually what we have is X, or PD, or whatever it is. If you're forthright and candid with us, are we, are we then going to be able to trust you? At the moment, these sorts of responses where you don't give straight answers to very simple questions is really causing us some considerable difficulty. Do you not see that? Would it be fair to say then that reports in the media and from constituents that postal workers have been told to prioritise parcels over letters are, are accurate? Is that now official Royal Mail policy? No, that's absolutely not true. I'm a bit confused because a whistleblower wrote to me only last week, once we'd advertised that this session was happening, to tell me that you do in fact prioritise <coughs> parcels over letters. And in fact, he sent me a picture of a poster that's on his rack in one of your offices and I'll just read, read you what it, what it says here. This is from last week where it says the future is parcels. Unless your manager directs you otherwise, these are your priorities on delivery each day. You're unilaterally only delivering on 50% of your USO, aren't you Mr Thompson? I'm actually aware of that particular correspondence which was done in one delivery office and it was dealt with and it was a local action. But this isn't true. Who wrote this poster Mr Thompson? That is absolutely not our policy. Well, it's it's on a Royal Mail poster that your workers are being asked to read when they go to work. Your performance gives us grave concern, really, about the narrative that you've provided today on many of my questions today, including when there's clear evidence to the contrary. You've suggested that what we've been told, what the evidence suggests just isn't true. Uh, something has to be true, and I'm not sure what that is. 